Hello everybody, welcome to another very very interesting tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can create some sort of a uh, progress indicator for reading a page or an article. So as you can see I have put some lorem ipsum text over here and as soon as I start scrolling down you will see that there is this kind of like a progress bar that starts you know pulling in and also you have I for the sake of education I added this as well where it's like when I reach to the end of the page it actually completes this circle so it's kind of like a let's say reading indicator or a reading progress indicator so and I'm, I'm gonna today show you how you can build such an effect for this movement of the circle obviously we have used our beloved move it library and I'm gonna show you how you can utilize that so as always I'm going to Kotus.com in the front-end section and I open the Kotus uh, or Codenest online front-end editor so here what I'm gonna do uh, I'm just gonna create a, a container and then in the container I'm just gonna put some you know some text so I'm just gonna copy it and paste some text so that I have enough space in my page that I can scroll down so you can see that I have uh, this text over here now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to style the container to have a width of let's say 70% and then I set the margin to be 0 and auto so that it kind of centers it in my page. Of course I can go ahead and you know find some uh, Google fonts as well to style this a little bit. For, for example I can set the font family here to be uh, something like Helvetica. Uh, so it's kind of nicer a little bit maybe I can change the font size to be uh, maybe 18 pixel so it's a bit larger and then I also want to give it like a padding of maybe 50 pixel on top and bottom and zero from left and right so now you can see that we kind of have like a pretty solid sort of let's say article uh, on our page the next thing I want to do, I need to add that progress bar over here, right? And to be able to do that, I'm going to come here and create a div with the class progress bar. And I'm going to style it. So I'm going to say progress bar, uh, progress bar, uh, like a, I'm going to just make it position fixed because I want, I don't want it to, when I scroll down, I want it to always be appearing up here. I'm going to set the height to be maybe 10 pixel. Uh, and width to be 100 pixel and I'm going to give it a background of let's say dark yellow or something like that uh, maybe dark yellow is not really color let's say for example brown for the sake of this uh, document or uh, this tutorial so I also going to go ahead and set the body margin to be zero and you can see that it kind of shows up here uh, I'm just going to change the width to be 100 percent, so that would be the width. And what happens is that I'm going to calculate how much uh, I scroll down, and based on that value, I'm going to set the sort of the scale of this um, bar here in x-axis. So initially, I'm going to say transform uh, scale x, not y, on x-axis. So basically, horizontally, I'm going to set it to zero. Uh, so if I, for example, say 0 0.5, you can see that it kind of shows like this, but I also need to set the transform origin to be on 0, which is right here. Now you can see that if I'm on 50% uh, of the page, let's say, uh, it's going to be scaled half of this, uh, the, the sort of length of this progress bar, right? But initially I'm going to put it to 0. So now... What I have is that I have a container, let's just call it, uh, I did a class material as well. So now what I need to do is that I need to go into, into my JavaScript and define some variables. So I have to have a reference to this material over here. So I'm just going to say document, uh, document dot query selector. And this is going to be the material. So this is basically the actual article that I have here. So the concept is like this. The concept is that we already have like a viewpoint, point, a viewport over here. You can see this white area that we have that I'm showing you. This is like the window. That is called the window. I also have our articles, which has like from here to here, it has a height. And 
the way I'm going to calculate the progress is that when I scroll up, the top of this will go on a negative side. So for example, right now, because I gave it a padding of 50 pixel, the top is going to be 50 pixel. But as, as I'm scrolling up, its absolute position of the top will be negative. And then when it all the way comes down, you can see that if I get the total height of this article and subtract it from the height of the window, which is this white box that I see over here, this subtraction will give me the amount of scroll or amount of text that is now going up out of the window, right? So I can simply just sort of get the value that I already scrolled up and then divide it by this subtraction, then I'm going to get the uh, percentage. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. So now I have this. I need to have a reference to my progress bar as well. So document.query selector, and this is the progress bar. Now, one thing we need to do, we obviously need to have a, a event listener for the scroll. And that is what's something that you add to the window object. So add event listener. And I'm just going to say scroll here. And then here, as a second argument, I pass a function that I want this callback to be triggered when I scroll down, right? So what I'm going to need to do is get the sort of the top area of this. So that's easy. I can go ahead in the scroll and I say const material top. And I'm going to use the material, which I already have this, which is the actual article here. And then I'm going to call the get bounding client rect, right? So this basically gives me some information about the width and height and top and left of this uh, sort of absolute position on the page. And I'm going to get the top field of that object that gets returned by this, right? So this is the top of my element. The next thing I want to do, uh, I need to kind of calculate the value that I set, like the progress. So I'm just going to set let progress value equals to. So I'm going to say, because when I scroll up, this top value will be negative. I want it to be positive. So I, I would subtract it from zero. So I'm going to get the material top. And then what I need to do, I need to divide it by that material dot offset height which is literally the height of the material element, all this, the height of it, so offset height. And then I just subtract the window dot inner height, right? And this inner height basically represents this height of this window. So again, I will subtract the top of this when I scroll, divided by material offset height, and then Subtract that by Windows inner height, right? That would be my progress value. So the only thing I need to do is here, I'm just going to need to say progress bar dot style dot transform. And I'm going to use scale X. And then here, I just set the value that I came up with with this calculation, right? So now, if you notice that I need to just add one over here, I'm going to format this JavaScript so that it's uh, much better written over here. So I have a const value and I have a progress value that over here, and then I have the actual progress bar. Just want to make sure that I put everything on the right place. I can even change this let to const because I've not overriding it with anything at the moment and this is basically I'm just going to add this as well so basically it's the material top divided by this whole value over here so now if I start scrolling it is supposed to sort of scale this value but I just want to make sure to understand uh, if I'm doing something wrong so I fix it so material is referencing the material class over here, which is right. And I have my progress bar here, which is correct. And then I have window.scroll. And what I need to do is I get the material top over here, which is material.get bounding client rect. And then I just get it 
and use that over here and then I get the offset height of the material and I get the window inner height of the material. I always open the console to make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong over here. Um, so let me check. There is a syntax, there is a missing argument in my uh, code over here. And the reason for that is this, right? I had to close this. Now, if you notice here, when I scroll down, you can see how cool it is. It actually starts scrolling. And then when I reach the end of the page, so let me just show you real quick here. Uh, when I move the scroll bar here, so you can see that, you see, when I reach the scroll bar reaches the end of the page, I have this 100%. And if I move up, I go up. Now I can use the move it library that we have, uh, which is basically for manipulation of um, the SVG path. I can actually create a sort of a circular one as well. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to go ahead and switch the view to over here so that I can even look it from here. So you can see that when I scroll down, that bar gets filled in. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to include the move it uh, library, my JS, which is uh, in this address. I'm going to put it in the description as well. Next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to create an SVG. I'll give you the width of 50 and then height of 50. And then inside it, I'm going to put a circle uh, element. And then I would say CX. And these are the centers of this circle. I'm just going to put it in the middle. Since the width and height are 50, the CX will be 25. And then CY will be 25 as well. And I'm going to give it a radius of, let's say, 20. Uh, so we can have this kind of bar over here. Now, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to get this SVG. And again, I'm going to position it as fixed because when I scroll, I don't want it to change. I can now set the right to be maybe 20 pixel and top to be 20 pixel as well. So it ends up over here. And I'm gonna style the circle as well. So SVG circle. And I'm gonna say, I want the fill to be none. I don't want it to be filled with any color. And then I'm gonna set the stroke to probably the same color as I used for the progress bar up, here, up there. And then I'm gonna say stroke width to be maybe, I don't know, five. So now you can see that we actually have a full width kind of um, circle over here. Next thing I need to do, I just need, since I included the move it library, I need to kind of create a constant, let's call it move it. And I'm just gonna say new move it. And then here I just pass the element that I want to uh, operate on, which is this circle. Right, so I can just say document dot query selector, and then I'm just passing circle here. Uh, so now I created a move it, and then I also want to initialize it. Let me just move this document query out as a constant so that it's more readable. And I'm gonna pass this. Let's call it like uh, progress, right? And then I just pass that progress to the move it. But also as a second argument, I'm gonna set the start and end of the path that I want to have initially. So start will be 0% and then end will be 0% as well, right? So now you can see that I don't see actually because it's the start and end. If I change this to 10%, for example, you can see that now I kind of see the 10% of the whole circle path. Now it's actually pretty easy from here on. What I need to do is when I set the scroll uh, over here, when I'm listening and I already have the progress value, the only thing I need to do is say move it dot set. So the start will be again zero. I don't want that to change. But the end now will be this value, which is going to be uh, the progress value. And then I put a percentage over here. So it basically gets the progress value and put it in the end. So now if you see if I scroll down, this this supposedly needs to change. And I just want to make sure that I put the value correct. And the reason is that this progress value is actually from 0 to 1. And that's why this scale of this sort of um, progress bar that we have in the CSS 
works correctly because the scale is from 0 to 1 but move it is actually is from 0 to 100 so what I need to do is multiply this progress value by 100 right so now if I scroll down you can see that the circle itself actually shows the indication of where I am in the page so initially there is nothing and then you have this kind of quite cool you know progress indicator in the form of a circle that gets filled in when I add so if I for example go ahead in my HTML I'm just gonna copy the whole thing and I'm gonna add again here uh, I'm just gonna say BR so that I add a line break and then I paste it here so now I have even higher length so you can see that I can even like show you the scroll bar here so you can see that when I scroll down here when I reach at the end of the page the scroll bars and the progress bar gets filled in so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial please like this video and then if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do I hope you enjoyed this you can see that with some simple JavaScript, you can create really cool effects that could add to the sort of user experience that you have on your web pages. So I wish you a great day and night and see you next time. And thank you for watching.